Ever since Generate Blocks released their display conditions, I've been finding all kinds of cool ways to use it by showing and hiding blocks in all kinds of different scenarios. It's completely replaced my use of block visibility, which was a plugin that I absolutely loved, but Generate Blocks does all of this just as well. But one thing that a lot of people didn't realize is that the display conditions can actually affect your WordPress menus as well. For this, forever I've been using a plugin called If Menu, which had quite a few limitations, but it would at least get the job done. But Generate Blocks display conditions on the WordPress menus are pretty limitless and you can do all kinds of cool and creative things with them. So in today's video, I thought I'd show you three different ways you can apply these display conditions to your WordPress menus just to get your creative juices flowing and make you think a little bit outside of the box of ways you can make your menus a little bit more dynamic. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to set up on this site is showing the phone number up here in the navigation. For a site like this, there's probably going to be a lot of people who want to call, but I don't want to show the number to people when we're not open and nobody's there to answer the phone. So we'll set up a condition that's time-based that will show the phone number during our open hours, and then we'll have a request to call back link for people to go fill in a form when we're not open. So let's go ahead and go into the dashboard here. We'll go to generate blocks and then conditions. We're gonna add new and we'll just call this is open. I like to name things like this just so I know really clearly what this condition is doing. So this condition is gonna be for when we are open. So we'll go in here and under the if statement, we're gonna change the time and date. We're gonna do this between because we wanna pick between two times. So here we'll select time and then we'll just say eight o'clock AM. Maybe that's our opening time and then we'll say through five o'clock p.m. And of course, we're not open on the weekend, so we'll have to add a second condition here. So we'll go to date and time. Again, we're gonna do between, and we'll do day of the week. Actually, that looks like it changes. So what we wanna do is exclude days of the week. So in here, we can just go ahead and exclude Saturday and exclude Sunday, and then save those conditions. So now if we look at this condition, we can see that if it's between eight o'clock and five o'clock and it's not Saturday or Sunday, that's when this is open will be affected. So let's go ahead and save those changes. We'll go into appearance menus and I'm just gonna set up some dummy links here. So what we'll do is we'll just have a tell link, which is gonna be our area code 555, then 555, 5555. And then for the actual text, that we wanna show on here, we'll just do parentheses 555, 555, 5555. Go ahead and add that to the menu. And then let's have a link to, uh, we'll call it request a call. I don't have that page on the site, but that's okay. And we'll put request a call back. We'll go ahead and add that to our menu as well. So now when we open up these links, we have these display conditions in here. And we wanna set this phone number to show when we're open and then we'll go into our request a callback and we can set that same condition, except in this case, we want to invert it. So when we're not open, let's go ahead and save those changes. And again, we'll go visit the front end of the site. Right now it's Wednesday and it's 8.30 in the morning. So it's showing the phone number on here, which is exactly what we want. But just so we can demonstrate what it would look like and make sure that this condition's working, we'll go back into our conditions here. And instead of saying it's nine o'clock or eight o'clock, we'll change that to nine o'clock, save those changes. Now we don't open till nine o'clock. And when we visit the site, we see the request a callback link instead of the phone number on here. So this is just a cool way to show some different information inside your navigation menu based on the time of day and day of week. So that way you can show something different when you're open versus when you're closed. You could even set something up in here to show your hours and then show whether you're open or not. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this kind of condition. I've gone ahead and reset everything from the beginning now. We'll just go back in here into our appearance and then menus. We can see we just have our phone number in here right now and there's no condition set on this. What I wanna do this time is show the phone number in text so people can read the phone number if they're on a desktop device. But on a mobile device, I just wanna show a link that says call now and automatically calls the phone number. On desktops, I don't actually wanna to link to the phone number since they're probably not gonna be able to call from their desktop. So let's go ahead and put on here, we'll just link them over to our contact page. They'll see the phone number here, they can pick up their phone and read it off and dial it. Or if they click on it, it will take them to the contact page. We'll go ahead and add that one in here. And then we'll add another link here. This one, we actually want to call the phone number. So let me go ahead and put that in one more time. And then here, I'm gonna say call now. We'll go ahead and add that to our menu and save those changes. And now we can go back into generate blocks and conditions. And we're gonna say is mobile is our condition, if I can type. 
and we're going to change this to device is mobile. So perfect. That came out by default. And now we have that set up. So we can go back into appearance menus here for the phone number that we want to show. We'll check is mobile and we're going to invert that because we want it for when it's not mobile. And then for the call now, we can go ahead and select is mobile and we don't want to invert that one. Go ahead and save those changes. Go visit the site on the front end. Here you can see it's showing the phone number and if I click on it, it's going to take us to the contact page. But if I go ahead and go into the inspector and just kind of fake that we're on a mobile device, we'll make sure to refresh it here. Now when I open up the menu, we just see a call now button. And if I were to click on that, it's going to try to open up FaceTime here because that's linking directly to that phone number. So this way, if somebody's on a mobile device, all they have to do is click call now and it's automatically going to open up the dialer in their phone and start making that phone call. But if they're on a desktop device, go ahead and get out of here and refresh. They're just going to see the phone number there so they can pick up their phone in the other hand and go ahead and dial that. All right, and for this last example, I've gone ahead and reset things again. What I want to do this time is pretend that we're doing some kind of like Facebook ads or social media ads of any kind, and we're sending people to a specific URL parameter. And when they come from those ads, we don't want to distract them with all the links here in our navigation. We really just want them to contact us. So we can set up a condition that's going to hide all these other links and just have the contact link in the menu. So let's go back into our display conditions. We'll go in here and say is add. And now we can go into here and select our query parameter. And for this, I'm just going to do contains and inside the parameter name, I'm going to do add. And that way I don't have to put a value in here because it could be ads from all kinds of different things. This is going to be a little bit generic. So anytime this traffic's coming from an ad, we're going to set these conditions. So we'll go ahead and save those changes. We'll go into appearance menus, and then I'm going to have to do this to each one of these menu items. I'm going to do is add. We're going to invert that because we actually want to hide this when it's an ad. So we'll do the same thing on these others is add invert it about us. We'll make sure that that's set to is add and invert it. We could have probably done this the other way, the negative instead of the positive, but either way works fine. We'll go ahead and invert that. And then we'll just leave the contact alone because we want it to show up either way. So now when we visit the site, just going to the straight URL, we can see the full menu. But if we had some kind of query parameter on here, like add equals Instagram, go ahead and enter that in. Now we can see we just have the contact. And all we're looking for in this condition is add equals. So this could be anything, LinkedIn. And you can see we're just seeing that contact link. But if we didn't have that query parameter on here, we're going to see the full menu. Or if we had some other kind of query parameter on here, I don't know what it might be, but maybe email equals campaign. We'll go ahead and see that full menu because this query parameter doesn't start with the word add. But anytime we have add in here, it's going to go ahead and get rid of that menu. So that's a cool way instead of having to set up different headers for each one of your campaigns or the different kind of query parameters you might want to set up. You can just set all that up dynamically inside of that menu and just have one menu to deal with. Now I'm sure we're just scratching the surface with all the cool things you'd be able to accomplish using these display conditions inside your WordPress menus. If you've already been doing that or you had a few ideas while you're watching this video, I'd love to know about those down in the comments below so we can all think of more ways to use this. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure to catch the next one, hit subscribe and we'll see you then.